as you're looking to add content to Notion, there are two main ways you can do it. You can build content into a page or into a database. You can do some of both. You can have pages and databases on the same page. You can have a page inside of a database, a database inside of a page. Lots of ways to do it. We'll get into specifics further on in the course. I just want to show you briefly what the difference is. So this page right now is a page called Your Content. You can just type content on it. You could add images and stuff. We'll talk more about that in a little while. But that's a page. But if we want, using the slash command, we'll talk all about those in a minute, we can add a database if we want. And there's two ways to do that. We'll talk just about tables first. We can do an inline table, which adds a database to this page. Now we have a small database on this page. We'll talk about the advantages there. But we could also say uh, table and do a table as a full page. And so this will make a table on its own that the entire quote page is a database. Um, I'll show you advantages and disadvantages to each way, and there's times you may want to use it. But if we go back now to the Your Content page, you'll notice you have the breadcrumbs that follow you across the top because you can put things inside of other things inside of other things. If we go back to Your Content, we'll see we have this first database we made. We'll call it First Database. And then we have this new one we made. That's So this one is in line, and this one is a full page database. If we go in here, we can call this one the Second Full Page Database. And so going back... Now we have our content, and again, this content page, we can do lots of good stuff with layouts. We'll talk a lot about layouts um, further in. And then with the database, again, you can do it two different ways. And inside of here, you can do whatever you want. And this is what's neat with databases, though. Like in this, in any database area, I can open up an item of the database. And it's essentially a page. I can treat this as a page inside of the database, you know, using a DB. So now if I go back, I have one entry in my database called using a database, and in here is text for a page. And again, I can add images and charts and videos, whatever I want to add to that. But I can even, if I wanted to, make another table inside of here and have a database inside of this one database entry, which I don't recommend very often. Um, there are some exceptions to that. But again, Notion lets you do all that any which way you want. And so we'll get the specifics of all that, but just know in general, you can make a page or a database and there's different good, different use cases for each. And we'll discuss a lot of those pretty late in the course um, to help you decide what you need in each situation.